Okay, thank you. It is now 7.30. I'm going to call the City of Grodden Mayor and Council meeting for Monday, July 2nd, 2018. The order, Clerk Patrick, will you please call the roll? President O'Neill, Keith Hedrick, Deputy Mayor Lawrence Garish, Councilors Jill Rusk, Jamal Beckford, Stephen Sheffield, Wayne Verdipo, Rashad Carter, Fahan. Clerk Deborah Patrick, Finance Director Ron Russ is excused. Can you please stand and salute the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Recognition, recognition, awards, and memorials. Chief. Mayor, Council, distinguished guests. Uh, first, I wanted to announce to the public uh, that in the recent abduction case, uh, through a great team effort uh, from other agencies uh, and every member of this department, uh, we have a warrant lodged at the court. Uh, with the individual responsible. Uh, we're anticipating an arrest, and uh, it, it was a great effort. Uh, I'm going to recognize uh, our detective unit uh, for their diligence and the meticulous manner they conducted themselves, and uh, our patrol division uh, for meeting with people and allaying a significant fear to the public. Um, the agency shined, and uh, uh, I'm proud to be your chief. Tonight, uh, uh, we are fortunate to have individuals of high quality in our agency. Uh, we have individuals that will put themselves in harm's way uh, to keep someone from uh, either hurting themselves or others. Uh, this uh, uh, award is rep representative of that, and it's a meritorious service award. On 2-19-2018, Officers Ruddy and Hopman were dispatched to Mather Avenue for a report of a male subject who was attempting to commit suicide with a knife. Upon arrival, Officer Hopman and Ruddy entered the apartment in question and encountered an armed individual who was standing in the kitchen and becoming increasingly agitated. The male who was bipolar was despondent over a recent diagnosis of Parkinson's disease and family issues including an imminent divorce. The subject had a large knife and was threatening to do harm to his wife and daughter who were in the kitchen with him. The subject refused all verbal commands and was tasered which had no effect on the agitated male party. The officers were confronted with a large male party who was aggressive toward family and police, was suicidal, and armed in a very confined area. With a knife in his right hand, and now seeking to inflict serious injury now to himself, a violent physical struggle ensued, with officers Hopman and Ruddy seeking to subdue and disarm him. With Officer Ruddy on his left side and Officer Hopman to his right, the suicidal male party managed to stab himself in the abdomen and had to be taken to the ground and disarmed. Risking serious injury to themselves, both officers were able to disarm the party before he could inflict further injury to himself, the officers or family at scene. Both officers were able to subdue and handcuff the suicidal male and immediately treat his stab wounds. The suicide male was uh, ultimately taken to L&M Hospital for treatment for his self-inflicted wound and psychiatric evaluation. The actions of Officer Ruddy and Hopman were performed with alertness and perseverance and resulted in the protection of life, not only of the suicidal party, but of his family who were clearly endangered. These actions were in the highest traditions of the City of Grand Police Department. I'd like to call first for recognition uh, the more, most junior officer, Officer Jason Hoffman. I'd like to call the more senior officer in, uh, and this is uh, uh, not a uh, something that happened isolated. He does an outstanding job for us every day. Officer Paul Ruddy. Thank you. And that would conclude. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Okay, I need a motion to. to suspend the rules to move resolutions R-18-7-. 73 through R-18-7-80 to immediately after the recognitions, awards, and memorials. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion carries. Okay. We will start with a resignation, then a retirement, and then we'll get into the promotions. Councilor Russ, will you start with R-18-7-73? Yes. 
uh, resolution R-18-7-73. Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council accept and approve the resignation of Deputy Police Chief Michael Gallat from the City of Groton Police Department, effective July 1, 2018. I so move. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? During the Committee of the Whole, the uh, resolution read retirement when we did some research, and it's really a resignation, not a retirement from the city. So that's why we changed this resolution to read that. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Extension. Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Beckford, R-18-7-74. Therefore be... Uh, right. Resolution R-18-7-74. Therefore be resolved that the mayor and council accept and approve the retirement of Lieutenant John E. Jenkins from the City of Groton Police Department, effective July 1, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion carries unanimously. I am now going to start with the promotions from uh, the junior to the most senior. Deputy Mayor Garish, will you read R-18-7-80? Thank you, Mayor. Resolution that the Mayor and Council approve the promotion of Police Officer Brittany Duclos to the rank of Corporal in the City of Groton Police Department, effective July 3rd, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Chief? Officer Duclos uh, will be promoted to corporal. She is locally educated at Fitch High School in the University of Connecticut. She's a five-year veteran of this agency. She's been an FTO for recent classes and a troubleshooter if someone is experiencing any difficulty. She's entered recently in her master's degree program for criminal justice and has done successfully any community policing demonstrations that we've called of her. She has a very bright future in this agency. I'd like to call her forward for promotion and have her mother come forward as well to, uh, to pin her after being sworn in. Councilor Sheffield, will you read Resolution R-18-7-79? Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> resolution R-18-7-79, therefore be resolved that the Mayor and Council approve the promotion of Police Officer David Holliday to the rank of Corporal in the City of Groton Police Department, effective July 3rd, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Chief? I can call forward uh, Detective Holliday and his uh, wife will be uh, uh, pinning him. He's uh, locally educated at Ledyard High School, former standout athlete collegiately and in high school in track. Earned his BA at St. Francis College. Served in the Statewide Narcotics Task Force, working with the Connecticut State Police. And he has earned a unit citation and a state's attorney award for his efforts there. Currently serves in our detective unit and is a consummate team player there. And uh, it, he had a great part to do in, uh, in the recent uh, apprehension in the abduction case. Did an outstanding job there. I'd like to call uh, uh, Detective David Holliday uh, for to be uh, sworn in as a corporal. Mm -hmm. Thanks, 
right hand, please. Please state your name. David Holliday. Who solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut. You will discharge the duties of a police corporal with the city of Groton in accordance with the law, the rules, and the regulations of the city and said department. That you will faithfully serve our citizens and visitors with honor and integrity. You will promote and maintain the public trust and adhere to the department's code of ethics. You assume these obligations freely, voluntarily, and without reservation. That's what. Councilor Depot, will you read resolution R-18-7-78? Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor appoint and the city council approve the promotion of Corporal Jamon Jennings to the rank of sergeant in the city of Groton Police Department, effective July 3, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion carries unanimously. Chief. I'd like to call forward Corporal Jamon Jennings for his promotion to sergeant. He'll be uh, pinned by his mother. He was educated at the Hartford Classical Magnet School where he translated the Roman poet Virgil from Latin to English. He currently enrolled in a pre-law program at Eastern Connecticut State University. He served as an FTO for our agency. He's respected as an instructor by all he has worked with. He's a consummate family man residing with his wife and his children who are eight and five. He has CIT experience where he has trained a diverse pool to work at the local hole in the wall camp. He too has a very bright future in this agency. Call for Corporal Jamon Jennings to be promoted as sergeant and sworn in. Thank you. Assume these obligations freely, voluntarily, and without reservation. I will. Carter, will you read resolution R-18-7-77? Oh, yes, sir. R-18-7-78. 77. 77. Sorry. Uh, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor in, that the mayor appoint and the council approve the promotion of Patricia Lito to the rank of sergeant in the city of Groton Police Department effective July 3rd, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention, motion carries unanimously. Chief. I'd like to call uh, forward Officer Trisha Lato for a promotion to sergeant and uh, have her uh, significant other mark. Uh, leave before this law, please. Trish was a previous sergeant in charge of training and had a very distinguished career in one police department. Uh, recently, she's been our officer of the year and a U.S. Attorney Award winner with the City of Rotten for work with our cadet program which she has taken from infancy to many are now applying for. She has volunteered time and spent her own money pushing on the program. She's respected in-house and regionally for her knowledge. She's a four-year veteran of this agency. I would call her a community policing expert. Uh, she soon to be Sergeant Lato was popular in our community for her accessibility and willingness to help others. She'll be a role model to uh, our officers that are coming up in the ranks of the lucky to have her. And I'd like to call forward uh, uh, Trish and, uh, and have the that's 
Patricia Lito. Do solemnly swear and affirm that you will faithfully support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Connecticut. You will discharge the duties of police sergeant with the city of Groton in accordance with the law and the rules and regulations of the city and said department. You will faithfully serve our citizens and visitors with honor and integrity. You will promote and maintain the public trust and adhere to the department's code of ethics. You assume these obligations freely, voluntarily, and without reservation. I do. Thank you. Councilor Russ, do you read resolution R-18-7-76? Yes, resolution R-18-7-76. Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor appoint and the city council approve the promotion of Sergeant Jason Brucker to the rank of lieutenant in the city of Groton Police Department effective July 3, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. She's spelling. I'd like to call forward uh, Sergeant Jason Brucker for his promotion to lieutenant. He's locally educated at Wesley High School and at Central Connecticut State University. He's an 18-year veteran of this agency. He's served in our detective division. He served as both the duty sergeant and as administrative sergeant. And he had previously served uh, prior to serving in Groton East Hampton Police Department. He's a consummate family man, and he's residing locally with his lovely wife, and he has triplet daughters. So I'd like to uh, call uh, uh, Sergeant uh, Brucker forward for promotion, his wife to uh, pin him. Is she not available? Or? There she is. <laughs> and uh, we'll have the city clerk swear him in. <laughs> solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut. You will discharge the duties of a police lieutenant with the City of Groton in accordance with the law and the rules and regulations of the city and said department. You will faithfully serve our citizens and visitors with honor and integrity. You will promote and maintain the public trust and adhere to the department's code of ethics. You assume these obligations freely, voluntarily, and without reservation. I will. Beckford, I'm going to skip you so I can get the deputy mayor to read resolution R-18-7-75. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> this resolution, uh, I take great pride and uh, privilege in the being able to read it. Uh, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council approve the appointment of Johnny Jenkins as captain for the city of Groton, effective July 3rd, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Chief Spellman. We know him as Eric, so I'll call forward uh, uh, Lieutenant Eric Jenkins for his promotion to captain. Eric is a former United States Marine. He's a 29-year veteran of this agency. And a patrol officer, a lieutenant, and I believe he's hit every position along the way at some point within this agency. It's a wealth of experience and knowledge, not only about the operations of the agency, but about the city of Groton as a whole. He's deeply respected in this community for the service to the city of Groton. I think a lot of the attendance here is reflective of that. He's a leader who jumped into the Thames River risking his own life to rescue an elderly woman, and it got national attention and, uh, and, and really showed the dedication and duty that this agency has and it's leadership by example, which is, is what Eric Jenkins is all about. He's a consummate family man and role model to younger officers in this agency, and he resides locally with his wife and daughters. And uh, he's a gentleman that we're lucky he's staying on, and, uh, and we look forward to a few more years of service from Eric and, uh, into the city of Rod. And uh, it's an honor to present him for a promotion to captain. Your right hand, please, and state your name. 
John Eric Jenkins. Do solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut. You will discharge the duties of police captain with the city of Groton in accordance with the law and the rules and regulations of the city and said department. You will faithfully serve our citizens and visitors with honor and integrity. You will promote and maintain the public trust and adhere to the department's code of ethics. You assume these obligations freely, voluntarily, and without reservation. I will. Congratulations. We will now recess for 10 minutes to the auditorium so that we can celebrate with the uh, promotees. All right, we're back in session. We will continue with receipt of citizens' petitions and comments. Do we have anyone in the audience that would like to speak? Good evening, Mayor. I just wanted to give you one more chance to answer some questions that I asked at the GU meeting on June 27th before I need to file costly FOIA requests with the city to get answers. Could you supply the first date? Uh, the public was informed the sewer budget was increasing from almost $2 million last year to almost $5 million this year. Could you supply the first date of the final GU formula, which was used to determine the cost of the new sewer fee? My savings are first estimated by GU to be about 60%. Now it appears I will be paying more. I was told the original estimates were given before the $3 million increase became final. The sewer digestive cleaning and inspections were completed in 2005 and 2010 at the recommended five-year intervals. Can the city explain why the 2015 cleaning and, inspect and inspection was never done, which resulted in a very costly failure of the sewer digestive system in 2017. Who was responsible for this decision? Another concern I had was office space at City Hall. How much space does TVC rent at City Hall and at what cost? How many more years will TVC be renting at City Hall? How much space is GU and the city looking for and at what cost? As a taxpayer, it is very important to me to, to not be paying more for needed office space for GU and its, its employees than what we are receiving from TVC. I'd still like some answers, and then there are other ratepayers and taxpayers also concerned about the falling GU electric revenue. Uh, the revenue went from about 72 million in 09 to less than 54 million this year, and that's a drop in electric revenue of almost 20 million in less than 10 years. We see the same drop in electric power purchased by GU from CMAC. The amount of power purchased in 2010 was 48 and a half million. Uh, this fiscal year, it'll be about 33 and a half million. My last concern is uh, with GU and the mayor voting for a self-policing ethics policy at CMEC. I made my concerns known at the GU meeting on June 27th and again at the CMEC meeting on June 28th. Fortunately for ratepayers, both the municipal, the electric consumer advocate and the Norwich Bulletin agree that a third party needs to be involved in the CMEC ethics process. My last comments are just for Councillor Carter. You had asked what we could do to increase revenue stream. Uh, to me, that's always been an easy answer. Eastern Point Beach, the Tyler House, and the Zabersky House are grossly underutilized. You have the most desirable location in the city, and it's actually owned by the city. 
actively used only a few short months of the year, and the Tyler House and the Z House both have unused floor and represent a year-round <coughs> huge potential for new revenue in the city. Some examples of uses, and I'd be happy to go over it with you because you seem interested. Uh, one is uh, to look at the state-owned Willowdale Estates in Massachusetts. This was once a rundown historic property that was taken over by the state. It's been leased from the state. And in uh, 2007, it opened with its first wedding. Today, the estate offers a full-service event planning for both corporate and private events. And a full-time catering staff is present along with other um, event coordinators. Uh, Willowdale Estate has been awarded many times by both local and national wedding and event companies. My last example would be uh, of another successful venture that's possible at the beach is Arc Restaurant. It's located in Costa Mesa, California. It operates three different types of restaurants close together from one kitchen, which is doable at the beach. Uh, it offers fine dining, family dining, and a wood oven uh, pub, style dining, pub style dining. And that's Thank for you. you to think about. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks a lot. Thank I'll you. Sit in case you have a response or question. Responses and petitions? Anyone? Yeah. yeah. Kirk, Kirk. Thanks for the, uh, the suggestions at the end. Well, I'm on the uh, Parks and the Beach Committee, and uh, one of those things have, have been uh, we, we, we've spoken about, you know, but the, the second thing that's, that's pretty interesting, so, you know, something we can look into. Um, you want some links, I'd be happy to. Absolutely. Email um, former um, former, uh, former counselor, uh, Heed, um, he had mentioned that he also agreed that the Z House was underused, so, you know. Great, man. Mm -hmm. All right, good. I, I actually would like to respond to the same thing because I rented the Zbierski House for a party yesterday, and I 100% agree with you. Mm -hmm. And people that came from out of town were wondering why there weren't more things mm -hmm. when we were talking about the house, and I've actually talked to the mayor a bit about, about that. Mm -hmm. um, the beach and and I definitely think we could um, we were we are moving in that direction to make more use of of the property there anyone else okay thank you actually can I Councilor Rusk. Um, you brought up um, the TBC rent that has definitely been something that we've discussed that it's not something that we're happy about um, it was something that was decided long before our time, long before at least my time, um, and it's a 20-year lease, is that correct, Mayor? I think so, I'd have to look at the, at the lease, but it's got a lot of years left, maybe Unfortunately. even to 2028. Um, and we've talked about this, you're, you're aware of this, we talked about it. Just not all the details, Chief, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I think it's something that we're all concerned about. We would love to have that space back. Unfortunately, it's been written into a contract that we can't change at this point. Um, so I think we are all under the mindset that once that contract is over, we would be asking for that space back. Unfortunately, we can't change that now. Right. None of this council was involved in that decision. Any other responses, citizens' petitions? Okay, moving on approval of minutes. I uh, would like a motion for to approve the minutes of June 18, 2018, Mayor and Council meeting. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. And I need a motion for the June 25, 2018, Committee of the Whole meeting minutes. So, so moved. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention, motion carries unanimous. Communication and reports, Councilor Rusk. Um, I had the, pr the privilege of attending the Westside Promotion Ceremony on June 19th. It was very exciting to see all of the kids who were moving up. Good luck at the high school. Mm -hmm. Councilor Bedford. Uh, yeah, I was also at the promotion ceremony. I'd went to west side so it's always uh it's always nice to uh see some of the same teachers there uh it's also good to revisit and uh and and see uh the potential of these kids you know when they get to high school so that's all i've got okay. Mayor Garish. 
Uh, yes, I also attended uh, uh, Westside uh, at Fitch uh, ceremonies. Uh, also, uh, on the 22nd of June, uh, the Fitch graduation, which was tremendous. And I also, on the 25th, attended the uh, Board of Education meeting. Uh, and on June 20th, uh, I spent the day here with the uh, emergency planning, uh, emergency operations uh, drill that we had. And that's it. Okay. Councilor Sheffield? Uh, nothing to report. And Councilor Depot? I also attended the uh, West Side promotion, which, like Jamal, I went to West Side, so it was very fun uh, to see some of our old teachers there. and. Um, it's just a fun, fun thing to witness all these um, young people. Um, and I also was going to mention during this time that I was at the beach all day yesterday, and it's very hot outside. I encourage everyone to go to the beach. The Tyler House is open, and it was so much fun. Um, and I would encourage, um, you know, as we just discussed, if you are looking for a place to host a party, we had my family had so much fun at the at the beach yesterday. So that is all. Yes, sir, Garner. No, other than the graduation, I have nothing to report. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, it was, it was the graduation was good, but it did uh, it kind of put it into perspective how old I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> when my my classmates are having are have kids that are graduating, <laughs> you know, going to high school, and some graduated with with your with your daughter as well. So yeah, time does not sit still. Or Deb Badger. I also attended the Westside Middle School promotion ceremony, and it was it was great to see the kids and see how many of them received um, awards for academics. Can I? I'm sorry. Can I? Please. I forgot. I attended the Board of Ed liaison meeting, and I don't have the date offhand. Um, and. We really discussed the purpose of the meeting was that it needs to be an open discussion between the Board of Ed, the RTM, the city and town. Um, so if there's anything that you want me to discuss at the next meeting, I believe the next one is not in July but into August, um, please let me know um, and I can definitely pass those, that information on. Okay. Okay. And for brevity and to continue on, I have nothing uh, to report. Committee referrals? Okay, seeing none, we will continue to pick up where we left, which is resolution R-18-7-81, uh, Councilor Beckford. Yes, uh, therefore be it resolved that the mayor and council approve the appointment of Dennis uh, Godier as the city planner for the city of Groton, effective July 23rd, 2018. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Councilor Sheffield. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution R 18 7 82. Therefore, it be resolved that Mayor and Council approve the appointment of Robert Zuliani, 23 Cushman Street, Groton, Connecticut, as a regular member of the Groton Utilities Commission, term to expire May 31st, 2019. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimous. Councilor Depot. Resolution R-18-7-83. Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council approve the appointment of William Kelly Jr., 24 Spicer Avenue, Groton, Connecticut, as an alternate member, Planning and Zoning Commission, term to expire on June 30th, 2019. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Carter. Uh, R-18-7-84, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Therefore, be resolved that the mayor and council approve the awarding, the awarding of auditing services for fiscal year July 1, 2017 to June 30th, 2018 to RSM US LLP. Uh, 157 Church Street, 114 New Haven, Connecticut, to be paid from city electric and water general funds. I so move. Second. Uh, we have a motion. Is that, is, are those dates right? Sorry, I mean to interrupt. Yes. Okay. Because they're auditing 
that gotcha. year. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you. So we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Where are we? Uh, Councilor Rusk. Resolution R 18 7 85. Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council authorize the city of Groton to enter into an interlocal agreement between the city of Groton and the city of New London, coordinate and implement the goals of the redevelopment plan. Redevelopment place maker, quote unquote, plan. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Beckford. Resolution R-18-7-86. <coughs> Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council authorize and approve a donation of $1,000 and no cents to Riverfront Children's Center, Incorporated. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion carries unanimous. Council, uh, excuse me, Deputy Mayor Garish. Resolution R18-7-87. Therefore, be it resolved that the Mayor and Council authorize Mayor Keith Hedrick to execute an easement to the town of Groton pertaining to a portion of the city of Groton's property located at 105 Walker Hill Road, Groton, Connecticut, as substantially set forth and described in that certain access and utility easement agreement between the city of Groton and the town of Groton. I so move. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Sheffield. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution R-18-7-88. Therefore, be it resolved that the Mayor and Council accept a grant from CT Fair Plan in the amount of $500 and no cents for fire marshal invet investigative supplies. I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Depot. Resolution R-18-7-89. Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and council authorize Groton Utilities Management to issue a purchase order for one year of safety consulting services to AZ Corporation, 46 Norwich Westerly Road, North Stonington, Connecticut, in an amount not to exceed $130,640 and no cents to be paid from funds available in the approved fiscal year 2019 electric and water divisions operating in capital budgets, I so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. This was not brought to you before the cow, during the cow, because we just had a meeting, of the Grant Utilities Commission meeting. There was a meeting that was missed uh, because we did not have a quorum. As a result, we were unable to bring this to you for the committee of the whole. This was approved unanimously by the Utility Commission. This is for uh, AZ Corp, who Jim Healy is our safety representative that helps run our safety program here at the city. So that's what this is for. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. Councilor Carter. R-18-7-90. Therefore, be resolved that the mayor and council authorize Groton Utilities Management to issue a purchase order to Quantic Bridge Fire Department Office of Fire Prevention, the Fire Marshal Office 373, Long Hill Road, Ground, Connecticut, for payment for services rendered for final inspection and preparation of construction of dissolved air flotation um, treatment, treatment addition. Doesn't really make sense to me, but um, I'll read that again. Four services rendered for final inspection in preparation of the construction of dissolved air flotation treatment addition, two new water storage tanks, and renovation to the existing water treatment plant in the invoice amount of $58,466.75 to be paid from funds available to the approved fiscal year 2018. Water Division Operation in Capital Budget. Do you think 66 or 76? What did I say? 66. It should be 76. $58,476, right? Okay. 
It's 75 cents. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry. We have a motion. Did you? I still move. Sorry. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. This was also not discussed at the committee of the whole for the same reason. This is, we have an agreement between the town of Groton and the city of Groton for the building inspectors, but I will not charge them for fees and they will not charge me for fees. So they're, they're going to do West side over here. So we're not going to charge them for fees for the building inspector. We're doing the uh, water treatment plant and then they're going to do the 2020 plan. Uh, but we have no such agreement with fire marshal with Pequannock bridge. So Pequannock bridge is charging for the services that is for the amount for the services it's going to take for their fire marshal to do the inspection of these. Uh, is, there's a, there's an addition we're going to use right now. We, we allow things to settle. There's a new thing that they're going to use called flocculation, which they have dissolved air that comes up gets everything suspended and that helps with the treatment of the water. Also, we're going to have two new water storage tanks over there and we are building the new water treatment plant. So that's the, the amount, uh, the estimated amount for the inspections that they're going to, that Bacquanic Bridge Fire Marshal is going to be performing. So that's where this number come from. Councilor Russ. Is this standard that they, like would our fire marshal do the same thing? Well, typically here mm -hmm. in our in our place, we don't. We just in do it as right. Okay. But the town, because you have the different fire districts, mm -hmm. they do. Okay. Because a revenue stream for them. Thank you. Now, as a result of this, uh, the new fire chief and I are talking about looking ahead to see if we want to do something like this, and he's evaluating it. And, uh, should we decide to go in that direction, we'll come back to the council. Deputy Mayor Garrish. Did, did we do this one? 74. Did we, did we, did we do? Yes, we did. Yes, I, yes. I did that one. You did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 74. But we have, we have yeah. both retirement. Okay. okay, so we did it. Yes. Okay. okay. Is there any other discussion on Resolution R-18-7-90. Okay, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries unanimously. There is no executive session. Uh, with that, I'll take a motion for adjourn. I'm going to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second, and we are adjourned. Thank you all for coming out. <laughs>